A few months back, Binance.com got banned in Singapore. And now, Binance.sg pulls out from the Singapore market. Well, take note that Binance and Binance.sg still run operations from Singapore but they will no longer operate for the Singapore market. Kind of like casinos, right? Casinos can run their operations in Singapore because it helps in creating jobs. But Singaporeans have to pay a levy to enter the casinos. And speaking of jobs, Binance has tons of job openings in Singapore. If you have been to LinkedIn recently, you will realize that um, it's flooded with Binance related jobs. All right, look at this posted like two days ago. And then I also saw a couple of, this is like what, two hours ago. And these are big roles. I hope they are hiring customer support as well because they desperately need customer support executives. So it is clear that Binance has no intentions of pulling out business operations from Singapore. They are just not going to provide their services to the Singapore market. Which is a bummer because Singapore is super advanced in terms of crypto. Now why is this happening? Well, according to media reports here, Binance Asia Services, the operator of Binance.sg, has withdrawn its application to the MAS to operate regulated crypto currency exchange in the country. What is this application for? Well, MAS, their approach is to seek regulation to facilitate innovation while ensuring that adequate controls are in place to address key risks such as money laundering and terrorism financing. So MAS wants the exchanges to submit this application to ensure controls are in place to mitigate money laundering and terrorism financing. And why is Binance withdrawing the application then? Is Binance not able to meet these demands or they don't want to? I don't know. I'm just speculating. There is no information or proper reason in this entire article. If you know something that I don't, leave it down in the comments below. So what do you do now if you still have money in Binance.sg? Well, you have till February 13, 2022 to withdraw all your funds, all your assets out from Binance.sg. I have liquidated all my BTC and Ethereum and transferred that money back to my bank account. So I'm full cash right now. And I just have like 97 cents left here. I can't do anything about it. All right. I like Binance.sg because the fees are relatively low, 0.6% per trade, and you can only buy the coins that matter like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now all my holdings were up by at least 40% before I processed this uh, liquidation. So uh, I've been holding Bitcoin and Ethereum since the previous dip that occurred in uh, the mid of this year when Elon Musk turned on Bitcoin, right? So I have liquidated all my funds right now and it's back in cash to my fiat bank account and I'll see what I want to do with that. I'm going to probably go all in Bitcoin because the prices are really attractive right now. So I'm going to dollar cost average in. All right. So what about those people who still have money here in Binance.sg now with immediate effect on 13th of December? No new registrations will be permitted on Binance.sg. So you can create new accounts, all right? Users will not be able to deposit crypto or fiat on Binance.sg. Even if you have an existing account, you cannot deposit any more money, any more fiat money, or you can't deposit, deposit crypto from your other wallets. And then uh, users may continue to buy and sell crypto using their existing assets till 12th of January 2022 and users must start to make plans to withdraw their crypto and fiat from Binance.sg. So that's with immediate effect and what's going to happen after 12th of January. So from 13th of January to 13th of February, 
buying and selling of crypto from existing assets of users will be discontinued from 13th of january 2022 users can only withdraw and move their crypto to third party platforms or crypto wallets withdraw their sgd and all accounts must be closed by 13th of february and what's going to happen if you still have not done anything and uh left your money there so after 13th of february what's going to happen is that binance will suspend all your accounts you will have no access to your binance.sg account and the crypto assets will be held in an escrow account and your fiat assets will be transferred to your straight x personal account to recover your funds after binance.sg has closed you will need to contact their customer service and good luck with that and then uh, they're going to make arrangements for any remaining assets to be transferred back to you okay so please note there will be a maintenance fee of five percent for the remaining crypto assets balance per month and they are going to charge you five percent per month for just holding your crypto assets so it's better to take out all the money take out all your money now and one time administrative fee of 20 percent of the remaining crypto assets balance to be transferred for this service and another 20 percent charge just to transfer that money out so it's best that you transfer all your money back to your fiat i mean liquidate your assets and transfer it back to your bank account as soon as possible if let's say you have recently bought uh, bitcoin or ethereum on binance.sg and you're down right now right uh, and because you're down you don't want to sell so what you can do is you can just uh, uh, transfer that Bitcoin and Ethereum to another wallet so for example you can create a crypto.com account or you can create a CoinHako account and then what you do is that you can uh, just like send your Bitcoin from here and then on whatever wallet that you're using or the exchange that you're using there will be a receive button there so you click there you will get some QR code some string of numbers which you have to come back here and paste it in here so that this wallet transfers these assets to that particular wallet or exchange and take note that to transfer out Bitcoin uh, there are fees involved which is 0 0.0004 which equals to 25 26 dollars and 59 cents singapore dollars uh, at today's prices all right so that's what you do if you still want to hold your crypto assets and if you don't want to hold your crypto assets just liquidate and transfer back into your bank account and then move that money into somewhere like coin so what i'm going to do right now is that i have already transferred my money into my uh, bank account and i'm going to start dollar cost averaging into bitcoin again and my plan is buying and holding not trading so for me coin is good enough I will look into Gemini as well because the trading fees on Gemini is uh, kind of low 0.35% on CoinHako it's like a hefty 1%. If you are new to this let me know if you want to see a video on how to use CoinHako or Gemini and if you are a seasoned hodler let me know which exchange you are using in the comments down below like subscribe and tell your friends about me so that's it thanks for watching and have a great day